In exactly one week, this server will be deleted forever. This is because I got invited to the 7 day SMP, which is a world that will only be open until Christmas. During that time, you are tasked with completing simple objectives in order to earn points. The player who has the most points by the end of the server wins a grand prize of… well, actually that part's not very clear. The server owner is kinda broke. But that doesn't matter because I logged on the server with nothing but pure determination. No, no! no! <laughs> Okay, pure determination that starts now. I started as any normal player would, by attacking the first person in sight. After finishing my daily routine of murder, I decided to go and get wooden tools and try to complete my first objective. This is a pillager outpost, which admittedly isn't that big of a find, but in the Minecraft 1.19 update, something got added to the structure which made it one of the best places in the game. Trapped inside the cages of a pillager outpost are allays, a mob that will literally give you any item you ask it for. One might even say the allay is a mob of high value, and one of the objectives just so happens to be give another player an item of high value. So logically, right click this allay with an item. I have a question! Let's go! What That's like question? 10 points for me! In all honesty, that objective wasn't really that hard, but it was good to get it out of the way early, since as the server grows larger, resources that would have been considered rare or useful would become more common with everyone getting stacked as quickly as possible. Now this is a good time to mention that the server owner lives in Australia, meaning the time zone difference is almost a full 12 hours. And since they started the world in the morning for them, that means it was late at night for me. So the last thing I wanted to do before logging off was find a teammate. You're very no. scared. Looking right now. Broke up one hit me. Ready, steady. I forgot that I can host people. What was that? <laughs> it was a friendly tap. <laughs> okay, listen here. No, that was it were friendly taps. Did you steal my things? I wouldn't ever do that. Wait, I'm giving <laughs> good one. Okay, wait, 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 hang on, hang on. I have an I have a proposition for you. So it's me, you, and Nova on the server right now, right? Uh -huh. What if we all formed an alliance against everybody else? I, I don't agree to that just because <laughs> I'm free. And I, okay, I'm what if we form an alliance then, here's, then we can kill Nova? Here's the thing, I, I in thoroughly very much so enjoy stabbing people, even my teammates, <laughs> but you gotta understand, it's friendly, okay? With that said and done, I officially had a teammate, but it was getting really late at night, so it was time for me to hit the hay. Day 2 was the day I wanted to get as stacked as possible so objectives would be really easy to get. But before doing any of that, I decided to stream because I hadn't done so in a while. During the stream, I showed chat what may be the most important person on the server. So this is Gerald, he's my pet Alay. He keeps me company on the server. At the time, I didn't realize how important Gerald would be, but I would soon realize that this Alay would be the cause of a server-wide split. No, I'm not gonna kill Gerald, he's my friend. Why would I hurt Gerald? Even after I saw this message in chat, I didn't understand the magnitude magnitude of how much destruction this one LA would cause. My goodness, there's literally a poll in the Discord asking if Gerald should live or die. Though at the moment, there was nothing I could do about this, so I decided to go ahead and get some objectives done, because I desperately needed to get some points on the board. Now that I had gotten geared up, I wanted to go fight the Ender Dragon, since that would get me 15 points and way ahead of everybody else. I was now the strongest player on the server. I had full enchanted netherite armor and the dragon egg, but there was one issue. In the upcoming days, I had finals for school, which is just a minor testing thing, where it only counts for about 10% of your entire grade. I had to do well on these tests, so I needed to study and get off the server for the next two days, meaning people would be able to catch up to my level. So without any other option, I logged off, but what I didn't realize is that I had just ended the last era of peace. But before I tell you why that is, it would mean a lot to me if you checked below the video to see if you're subscribed. Only a small percentage of the people that are watching my videos are actually subscribed, so if you're not one of those people, it would mean a lot to me if you click the subscribe button below the video. It's completely free, and it only takes about two seconds to do. Thank you so much for subscribing, and let's get back to the video. When I got back on the server, 
the debacle about Gerald had escalated to a whole new level. My own teammate didn't even want Gerald to stay alive, so much so that a war started over it. Things had gone too far. Not only did my own teammate betray me, but I now needed to go protect Gerald because a new member was coming to the server. I am going to kill Gerald. Gerald is going, going to die. I'll give you your things back, <laughs> and then we're gonna go visit Gerald, okay? You mean you were gonna it was now all up to me. I needed to protect Gerald no matter what. In order to protect him, I built a safe house, but while constructing it, something extremely unexpected happened. Gerald had escaped, and we spent over two hours just looking for him. But he was nowhere to be found. At least that was until I watched Sylvia's VOD the next day and saw that she had trapped Gerald in a dirt box. But when I went to check if Gerald was still there, he was missing. Coincidentally, at that same time, Sylvia DM'd me on Discord saying that she had a surprise for me. So over here, we have a little train station. <laughs> We're gonna take a little a little train ride, okay? All right. So you could go in the front seat, I'll go in the back seat. Oh, it's so epic. Go press the, the, the lever. You're not gonna die. <laughs> no, 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 please. <laughs> just, just do it. You're not gonna. No, what have you done? <laughs> it's Gerald. It is Ger okay, Wait, what did you why is he taking <laughs> damage? The lava. Where is he? No! I will avenge Good. Gerald. Ah. Despite the fact that I was severely undergeared, even lacking a shield, I needed to avenge Gerald. <laughs> I'm getting a shield! No! Get to here! I'm creating your mind blocks. Oh, this is going well. No! <laughs> ah! Holy. Thorns won on my chest plate. Yes! <laughs> there we go. In the end, Gerald didn't survive, but he had been avenged, and with that, the server ended. One week had come and gone, and to answer your question, no, I did not win. I spent all my time trying to protect this alight that I basically got none of the objectives. But sometimes in life, it's not about the fancy prizes you get. It's about being with the people you care about. And this holiday season, that's exactly what I did.